last full day here at Big South Fork. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. It's kind of sad. Yeah, yeah, sad. Went so fast. <laughs> We're dry. Yeah, just not wet. Hey, uh, well, I was this morning. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Black and silver? That's going to be who? What are you going to do here, Melody? Well, I am actually going to make Lloyd a bracelet. And while I'm making Lloyd a bracelet, I'm going to be teaching Gadget how to make his own. Oh, excellent. <laughs> how exciting. Yeah. Lloyd has been making us food, shelter, and coffee all this time, so the least we can do is make him a string to go around his arm. Uh, this is so cool. It means so much to me. And I think this happened. I'm having to do a little assumption, but June, I loaned her my blanket because she didn't have enough sufficient. Right. Well, when I come back down here, my blanket was laying there. She never said anything. She just left. Didn't say bye. Or right. Nothing. No thank you, no bye. Yeah. But I found a little earring laying there on my tailgate. And that means so much to me because now my little beetle in there, which is my mascot, I pinned it right here. Oh. So now I've got a piece of something June left in her appreciation in my mascot. So every time I see that, then that'll, that'll bring this moment, this memory. That's right. cool. Wow. Yeah. Nice. That's so cool. Looks like you've gotten a nice little, mm -hmm. nice little product here. Got to use my skill. Multifunction. Awesome. It's a keychain. It's awesome. It's got my color in there. Fluorescent green. Nice. That's the gadget color. Very well done. Thank you. If anybody else wants one, let me know. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Yeah, thank you. send us an email. Yeah. Stateparkers at gmail.com. And about 50 bucks. <laughs> <laughs> a whole new plan just came up. Smell and Roses came over and asked us if we wanted to join him on a special hike. Stick around. We're going to get ready. And we're going to head over to this mystery spot. Thanks for joining us so far. It's been a great time out here in Oneida, Tennessee at the Bandy Creek Campground. Big South Fork National River and Recreation Area. Thanks to Ken Cram, Bobby 808 Knight, and Billy Joe Denny for setting this whole thing up. Jonathan Cram, you're doing an incredible job keeping it all together. Looking forward to next year. For now, I gotta get my hiking clothes on. Looks like Caveman Outdoors and Shane are coming along too, so we're gonna drive and meet them over there, which is good, because we get to sit in the AC it's gotten suddenly super hot on us. Woo! Brace yourself. It's like three dollars. <laughs> yeah. And it has the slide you can focus in. We're gonna do a bit of a mystery hike today. Hopefully we'll see some pretty awesome sights. Maybe encounter some pretty awesome dangerous feats to overcome never know but first we're gonna go take a second look at this overlook caveman outdoors melody from state parkers smelling roses what's up guys i'm clint we're up here over the east rim overlook big south fork of the cumberland river you lead the way man into the woods we go i'm filming you filming me while filming me filming you I think we've officially come off of the defined trail. And now we're gonna make our way over that edge. <laughs> this is gonna be a test for you, is it not? I gotta figure out how to hold the rope and hurt at the same time. I wanted, wanted to come down here so bad. This rope is tied to this tree. Leads that way. Over the edge. And the ladder is plastic. Smelling Rose is gonna take the lead. Kinda give us an idea of how to do this. The real trick is going to be to figure out how to get Sheba down here. She can't exactly grip the rope, so <clears throat> Caveman's going to give her some assistance. Who knows? Maybe she'll give him some assistance. Sometimes you got to trust your friends, kid. Work together. As Caveman makes his descent. There's a little ladder down there that seems to be kind of a strong step, but... All right. <laughs> You're good. You're right, but there's another layer. Gotcha. Don't, yeah, go through the ladder. Go through the ladder. Whew. All right. All right. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Woo! He's going to do the butt stuff. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. He's going to take 
We're having a good time out here today. I knew that was coming. All right. That's what I'm waiting for. We got caveman down. We are having to very carefully shimmy down this really steep, muddy slope. We didn't come here to make easy trails, did we? No. Heck no. How do you feel about that? Pretty good, actually. Looking yeah. forward to going back up that thing? Um, yeah. No go from there, huh? That good trail split up there. I guess we'll take the other, the other route. Oh, wow. It's amazing what you'll find when you go wandering into the forest. We do have to do a little bushwhack off trail exploration to find our destination. That's what we're doing now. It's really exciting because we're in a foreign terrain to us. We're from Texas. And uh, these guys from all over the country are showing us how to really have a good time. Go off the trail just a little ways and stumble upon something like this. Water dripping off of this rock shelf. And uh, it's not even the main event yet. This is what we trained for, honey. This is what we wish we trained for. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> it's called Devil's Cave, but it's technically a slot cave. It's okay. like a crack in the rocks, but it's very cave-like inside. But, but it is a fissure, and there is light that comes through from the top, so it's not a cave. Well, there you have it. Awesome. Whatever it is, <laughs> I quote smelling roses over here, it should be awesome. I have located a really bad to the bone campground. With one exception, <laughs> that right there. This tree is cracked right through the center and probably its most vulnerable spot. You got a lot of weight on that tree leaning, being supported by this rock. At any minute that thing could come down and in the direction of that snazzy little campsite right there. Woo! <laughs> what you're looking at here is the entrance to this little place we're gonna go check out. And uh, there's Melody and Caveman Outdoors. Smelling Roses got us over here. Shane, he's taking the lead. He said, to heck with you guys, I'm going. We strapped on the headlamps because it's gonna get dark. Looks like a perfect place to take a bath. <laughs> the water's pouring out of the ceiling. Looks so clean. So you always find some type of artifact when you go exploring. And uh, in this case, we found a giant saw blade. Looks like it came from a piece of farm equipment or something. What? Popcorn setting. Popcorn set? Yeah, famous moonshiner. <laughs> There's a jar. No idea what to call this guy, but he is freakier than most spiders that I've seen. And he's really close to Shane's foot there. Weird. We're having a good old time in this mysterious slot canyon cave style environment. Yeah, we are. <laughs> it's pretty cool. It's uh, not a whole lot of natural light coming in other than what's way off in the distance. So we're having to use our headlamps and we had to rock climb up in here and we had to rappel down to get here been a good adventure so far. Yeah, that means we have to rock climb back out of here. Ascend to the top of where we repelled from. Probably on our hands and knees. Probably. Yeah, because it's steep. Yeah. As you'll notice, Melody's gleaming strap here says Black Diamond. All five of us are currently wearing Black Diamond headlamps. And I think that's a bit of a coincidence. We didn't plan that. Mm -mm. But it speaks about the quality of that product. Mm -hmm. So there you go, shameless <laughs> plug. Uh-oh. Oh. There's a bat. I always love to come across wildlife, and there is some serious wildlife. A sleeping bat here at the very tip edge of this cave type environment. We don't want to wake him up because he'll freak out. 
Caveman outdoors. Yeah. Finally in a cave. Let's see if we can get down as easily as we got up. Once again, I forgot something. Back here in the cave, coming back to get it. There she goes, the monopod. That's two channels in front of me. Caveman Outdoors on the left, Smelling Roses on the right. Check out both of their channels. They both make excellent outdoor videos. It is a pleasure for us to have been able to have the opportunity to hike with those guys today and yesterday. We'll definitely have to do it again in their neck of the woods. Look at the size of this tree that grows up the edge of this mountain, wraps along it, and then continues to get bigger as it gets taller. Well, hello, Sheba. You came check on us again, didn't you? Thank you. See those shoes right there moving through? That's Shane. He's going to check out that crawl space. All right, stop right here. Yeah. There's some flying insects. Is it worth seeing back up in there? Yeah, it looks like a room. Cool. Yeah, that's, it's, it's not even standing room only in there. It's crawling room only. Smelling roses in there, getting the job done. Look at that snail. Oh wow, that's cool. Yeah, it is. Did you oh, want pretty to go cool. With me? Oh, 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 I get hugs, huh? Time to go do some laundry, then. <laughs> <laughs> they made it. Way to go, Shane. Thanks for scoping that out for hey, us. Not a problem, brother. Anytime. <laughs> All right, one more time then. <laughs> <laughs> Anytime you're on a trail and you see something really awesome, just know that there's something even more awesome waiting off the trail if you can find it, because the trails never take you to the best stuff. Just another example of the scale of these cliffs that we're standing under. Go ahead. Melody won't hurt you, buddy. He's got spots. He's so cool looking. Oh no. <laughs> oh, he peed. So I'm scaring the pee out of you. He's a little scared. There you go, buddy. Man, y'all gotta, y'all, leave me alone. Yeah. Guys, I was just sitting here minding my own business, chilling. <laughs> this is really challenging, but it's a really fun. You did it. You're not done yet. <laughs> you still gotta go up the rope. We're all together. All together again. Seems easier going up than it was going down. My legs are still suffering from yesterday. Not exactly for the faint of heart, but not that hard. Even Melody made that look easy. This has been a good day on the trail. Saw some amazing scenery back there. Had a couple close calls. Kind of stuff makes you hungry. That was fun. All right, well, they're going to get in the Jeep. They're going to head back to camp. Melody's going to take a little girly break, and then uh, we're going to go whip up some dinner. Well, we're 
we're back at camp and it looks like the aftermath of a great dinner that those guys had. Good for them. Tonight's the last night of the meet. And we're gonna go in here and we're gonna have a little closeout ceremony. And this one I will take with me definitely. All right, we'd like to thank everybody for coming out. It's been awesome, especially the people that taught classes, helped out, led people out on the trails, cooked all this wonderful food. I got a feeling there's gonna be a lot of good videos. There's gonna be a lot of videos. Until next time. Peace. 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 Well, there's one of our favorite people that we got to meet while we were here. I'm looking for the videos, man. Oh, you're going to see some, believe me. Let me take a picture of you taking a picture. There you go. Got it. The caveman outdoors is going to create a fire for us here to do our dinner with. He's going to use shavings of actual fatwood that he found in the pine trees. Uh, it's really good stuff. It's a natural, combustible substance that burns so clean that you can cook right over it. And it smells really good, too. Drink not every yeah. Melody brought <laughs> some pork chops and some sausage and some corn on the cob. And we're going to mix that in with whatever food these guys have. And have a feast. And we're going to use the fat wood to spark and ignite. Which it's only hard for some people. Others make it look super duper easy. I'd say that's a great success. Thank yep. you, caveman. It worked. Yeah. Thank you, Shane. You're welcome, sir. Now that is the camp there. meal for yeah, not only I, champions, I, I I did let people but championship champions. We've got some cube steaks, <laughs> beef <laughs> sausage, <laughs> roasted sweet peppers, <laughs> and you know our favorites. I, I didn't know what corn on the cob. So we've got Jonathan. He came over to say hi, and uh, evidently he has been victimized by the acupressure demons. <laughs> <laughs> All the way. <laughs> How about, a, how about an explanation of what this acupressure is? Uh, for acu as far as relaxation, when you might have high anxiety when you're outdoors or maybe alone. Holding those two points, 60 seconds each. And after 60 seconds, you go to the next one. Two, three, four, five, six. How did you six. feel after? Well, good morning. Good morning. It wasn't supposed to rain after 11 o'clock last night, but... It did. It sure did. Yeah. And my camera was outside. I'm lucky to even turn this thing on right now. It was pouring on top of my camera. It's true. Mm -hmm. Now we get to pack up in the rain. Yeah, but we get to go to the Smoky Mountains. Mm -hmm. Yep. All right. Uh, we're going to have to crawl ourselves out of this tent, get packed up, and get on the road. Got to go say some goodbyes to some people. And, uh... See what the rest of these few days has to offer. Oh. <sighs>